back to my channel so today i'm going to be showing you guys how to cut this asymmetric neckline with a basket uh weave uh pattern at the top part here so um the first thing you're going to need is your basic bodice pattern so you're going to make sure that you cut out the bodice of the person that you're making it for and then just exactly like what you're going to need the bust measurement and all and then the next thing you're going to do is to open it up this way next thing you're going to do is to come out here by about two inches and then it depends on you how far you want it to come down on the armhole side so let's say you want to use about uh, five inches down here or like six inches it depends on you but just note that i'm using like a miniature version here and then in the center here i might just make it about let's say three inches just note that i'm using about the same normal three inches neckline here so all i have to do is to connect this to this and connect this to this so guys now that we've marked it this way the next thing you have to do is just to cut it out and then this pattern here is the one we'll ha that will have the width this here is going to be cut on your bodice so guys now i've cut out half an inch here so this half an inch is for me to be able to put this back so as you can see now I'm going to go ahead, this is done, I'm going to go ahead now and cut out and um, mark out my lines. So for this here, I'm going to be using one inch width here. And if you look at the thumbnail, it's like slanted. So there's also another one that is straight. I'm also going to insert the picture for that one. So basically for that one, all you have to do is just to mark your line straight across. For this, that's for this square neckline one. You're just going to add about half an inch at the top part there. So, but let's move over to this one. So now what I have to do is just to go ahead and just connect my lines the way I'm going to show you guys now. So just like this, you're going to, because if you look at it, it's slanted. So about, I'm going to be using about half an inch line, half one inch distance between them. So I'm going to mark another one this way. And then just like that, I'm going to mark another one. So guys, if you're wondering, I'm just using the width of my ruler, which is about one inch. So that's the space I'm using for this to mark it. And if you look at it, it's slanted this way. So after that, the next thing I'm going to do is to cross over this line. So I'm going to go over it again, marking the lines again by one inch. The way you're going to design this is up to you. So you see, first I placed my ruler this way and just kept marking it this way, this way, this way, this way, slanted this way, this way, this way, this way. And then after that, I turned it around. Now I had to go this way, this way, this way, this way, this way, just to make the... So now, all I have to do is to go ahead, cut out the fabric I'm using for this, and then I'm going to start sewing it. But before that, I also wanted to show you guys how to do the other one on the picture, which all you have to do is the same thing, cut out your bodice, and then what you're going to do is come down the length you want it to start before your bust, because remember, this is going to be the body, this is going to be the weave, the, weave, um, the matted basket thing, so you're just going to come down how far you want it to be, and then you're going to, let's say you want from your shoulder to about, about uh, 6 inches, so let's say you do that and then it's somewhere here you're going to mark it down here and then what you're going to do is you're going to just cut it across like this that's what i was trying to explain you're going to cut it across this way and then now you know that the body of your dress is this so you're going to cut this out on the fabric just like how i did for this here but the difference now is that you're going to leave you're going to leave half an inch of your seam allowance on your fabric so the way we left half an inch at the edge of this you're going to leave half an inch at the edge of this from your fabric so that you can use it to attach to this one here right to this one here so how you're going to mark it on this one is basically like this so as you can see on the picture for this one you can see that the the this is wider part so you might want to use about i think for that they use maybe probably two inches or so but i'm going to just say use about 1.5 so i'm going to just use about 1.5 here it depends on you and you can see this one is like a straight line across so it's going to come all the way down from your shoulder down this way and then you're just going to keep marking it like this so guys this is what i'm using here you can make your space wider like i said you can make yourself your space your space wider like the one on the picture and then now you're going to go over again and cross it out this way right so i'm going to use about 1.5 inch you see i've cut out what i'm using is about two inches of width you're just going to fold it in here fold it in here just like how you do for your bias and then keep sewing it down i've cut out this here so all i have to do now is i'm going to go back in now and follow each line so I'm going to follow this line so down. I'm going to just take it this way. 
and then I'm going to sew it. After sewing this down, I'm going to just take take it the way it is now. After sewing it, and then I have my strap, I'm just going to attach it down like this, down like this, down like this, down like this on this paper, all the way down. And then after that, I'm going to go across and sew it down all the way, all the way. But before I do that, I have to go ahead and make and sew down this strap on its own. I said before, I'm trying to show you guys two ways here. This is the slanted way. This is the... Uh, uh, the, the second picture which is like a straight one so this is what it looks like now so guys what i realized while doing mine is that you have to give it a lot of space because considering this this uh, strap is going to be taking up about 0.5 inch so you need to at least make your space maybe two inches or 2.5 so that once it takes if you make it sorry two inches or 1.5 if you if you make it 1.5 at least when the strap takes off the 0.5 then your space will be left with one inch so that's what i realized while doing mine because i used one inch and as you can see my spaces are now small almost like after taking up the half an inch from the strap is now remaining like about half an inch left for the space so now the next thing i'm going to do now is you can use bias to finish up your neckline so you see what my neckline looks like now just use bias to finish it up and then you're going to so like i said this is how you're going to cut out the body so now what i'm going to do now is just basically you see i have my lining behind so just to make it neat i'm going to place this in between my lining and the body of the cloth so maybe starting from this point here and as you can see i left about half an inch at the edge here just like i left half an inch at the edge of my cloth when i was um be, uh, at the edge like this so i have about half an inch at the edge like this so this half an inch and this half an inch are going to meet each other so i'm going to sew it all the way to the top so guys all i have to do now is i'm going to this is the right side of my fabric and this is the right side of the pattern so i'm going to put this in between here the right side facing each other and then i'm going to sew it down but then i'm also going to use my lining and put behind it this way so that once i sew it down all the way and then i flip my lining behind it's going to go back to the back here and then this is going to come out this way and then the seam is going to be hidden like this so guys same thing applies to this one you can see my half an inch of seam allowance both on the lining and on the fabric so the same thing is what i'm going to do place it down like this sew down this half an inch from the fabric and then i'm also going to right side facing each other right the front of my cloth the front of this one but then i'm going to place my lining behind it so that once i'm going to sew it down this way once i'm done i'll flip this back this way and then i'll have it this way see i've put in my bias for the neckline so all i have to do now is just to remove the pepper behind it so you see how i did it here so you have to line this or at least use facing for it so that this will not be itching on your skin so you see where it is on the inside so they is between my lining so you see this is between the lining and the cloth so you see so it's just in between the two of them and then you flip it out iron it down this is the front of my clothes so all i have to do now is just to attach the shoulder and then just like that i'm going to sew in my sleeve down here sewing my sleeve down here attach the shoulder at the back if you can already imagine it let's say this is the back shoulder just take it the two of them attach it this way sew it down insert your sleeve like this you always have something to hold on on the sleeve just this edge is here so guys you can see this one is done i've removed all the paper from it and it's done but guys you see this one here if you look at the picture now you see that the neckline is straight like this it doesn't have all these ones here so all you what you can do is you can open up this one here and insert this in, inside of it or you can just go ahead as you're cutting it out you can trim it off like this just trim it off like this you can trim it off like this because at the end of the day this part here will still cover it the one going across will still cover it you see how i just made sure to have this side of the neckline straight this side straight so that because this one here will not be having any bias so the neckline is almost like a boat neck so you're going to figure out how you're going to make yours work so you see i hid all these ones underneath the straight line so i made sure this straight line is up here and then i i hid these ones coming in here behind it 
and sewed it down so the same thing on this side too so now all i have to do is the rough side is just going to be inside of your body but this one here you need this line across if you're making the one with the square so this one across here you need to make sure that the this one's here you can go back in and lose the seams if you really want it that neat lose the seams insert this in and insert it inside of this one going across and sew it down or you can just cut off the excess and then leave this one to flip over it will still not be visible if the person is wearing it if you still give what the picture on the thumbnail is giving so now all i have to do now is to go back in and remove all my brown paper like i did for the other one so guys you see what this one looks like now so if you're trying to make this square one like i said all you have to do is just to try and use um remember it's going to be like a boat neck so maybe you skip about two on the shoulder just make your box big if you're trying to achieve exactly the one on the picture use a bigger box like 2.5 or so square that's what you're going to use and then you're going to get the neckline like this and try not to use three inches of neckline because that's a boot neck so you might need about four inches wide and then about three inches depth or 3.5 inches depth so that's basically how you're going to get this one we've explained this one here also so it um if you look at the picture you will find that one of them looks like a dress the one on the, um the picture looks like a dress so basically if you're trying to it's the same thing if you're trying to make it in one pattern of a dress you can use like this basic body pattern here and then instead of cutting it you know how we cut our pattern you can still cut it here if it's the one shoulder one you can cut it on your dress pattern the only thing is that the body of the dress is going to be cut on the main fabric and then you take out the top part to cut out the uh, the matted thing so you're just going to trace it on it if it's a dress you trace it like that if it's like a two-piece bodies the bodies and the skirt part you trace it on the smaller bodies it depends on you what you're working with and let's say like the one on the picture at the moment that has like a slanted bottom which is exactly what this dress is supposed to look like so you're going to give it like a one shoulder this way mark it like a one shoulder like this all the way like this and then the bottom of the skirt is also going to have a slanted bottom like this right like the one on the picture so all you have to do is that you know that the body here is going to be where you're cutting out and then this part that you cut out again the same way you did for the top leave half an inch when tracing out your pattern for the body you're going to leave half an inch at the top to join that um matted part and then to join the half an inch to join this bottom part here so basically anytime you're trying to do that all you have to do is just remember to add your half an inch so that you can use it to join it so like this here i cut this out to be like if i'm trying to join this on a skirt now at the bottom part of my skirt all i have to do is this is my skirt pattern i'm going to come down to where i want it to join maybe somewhere here i'm going to split it into two at this point like split it into two here then i know that this is the body of my skirt i'm going to trace this out exactly how it is except i'm going to add about half an inch extra on my fabric at this point right and then on this one here i'm going to make my mats so it depends on you how you want the line of the matting to be and then maybe this way so you sew it down 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 then the last one you use it to um like a bias to round it round the end of the skirt and then you're going to leave x the tips of it will have about half an inch at the edge right the tips will have about half an inch at the edge then that half an inch from the edge of the fabric that you've cut and half an inch from this one both of them will join together that's how you're going to make it on a skirt same thing applies to the sleeve let's say you want to achieve a whole sleeve like this all you have to do is just mark the whole thing down this way how you want however you want it to be and then cross it over mat it how you want it to be attach it before you remove the um because the pepper is what is holding it together you can't remove the pepper and then try to attach it so you attach it to the body of the clothes after that you make sure that everything is okay then you can remove then you can go in and then start removing or popping out the piece of paper from it so that's basically how you achieve it for anyone the same thing if you want the the sleeve to be a body cloth and then the matting part divide it into two use the bottom just like how you i explained for the skirt that's how you're going to do it thank you guys so much for watching i hope everything i said makes it made sense and um please like share and subscribe and bye